Hi guys, I'm Denshi. Uh, I haven't made a video about games in a while, have I? But today I'm going to be talking about this game called B. Well, not not really talking about it. I'll be playing it. And uh, you know, uh, from what I've seen, it seems like a very well. The, the graphics are obviously excellent. You know, there's some very very nice fan art and such. Uh, it just seems like one of the best video games that has been ever created, really, in terms of the history of video gaming. And it's just been getting glowing reviews on Steam. All the reviews seems amazing. The community, especially, seems like one of the nicest communities I've I've ever really seen for a video game. And today I'm gonna to be playing it for the first time. It's free on Steam, so that's excellent. It's a great way to grow the community. And um, I already played it before. I've given it like a little try. And today I'm going to be playing B. I'm gonna be showing you, you know, why it's so good. So as you can see, we're already getting our uh, settings. Uh, I don't know why I'm not able to select my maximum resolution here, but okay, uh, maybe I need to set it to, okay, full 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 screen. Obviously, we're going to have the full screen B experience. Uh, it's one of these Unity configuration things, and as you can see, the B is shown here, flapping uh, the wings, you know, just a little teaser for what's to come. There's the logo B, obviously replacing the Unity logo and Unity things. Uh, so here's some links to, okay, I see the night sky textures and things, okay, that's looking good. From Moon, Our World, okay, so there's just a bunch of credits for the video game, I see. Um, anyway, this is lasting a little long, but I just, I just want to get to the B action. I'll show you why I like this game so much. Okay, so first thing you'll notice is obviously, well, this big, as you can see, it's not running so good. That's because the graphics are just really demanding. And I guess I'll just uh, reduce the, uh, I guess I'll uh, increase, like, it basically just, you know, uh, make the graphics slower. Exactly, and uh, yeah, so it's, there's a fun thing, this video game calls itself an experience, that's because this is an experience, it's called actually, it's, it's beyond, it's reached beyond video game, and it's not even a game anymore, it's the B experience, and today I'll be showing you how to experience them, so as you can see, first of all, we're already seeing the, see, despite the fact that it is quite demanding, it performs kind of well on my system, which is obviously rigged out with the latest Intel processor, and obviously the GTX 2080 super mega ultra graphics card as you can see it's running excellently um, I'll show you why I enjoy B so much so first thing obviously there's the graphics you just can't debate the graphics just look utterly amazing you simply cannot possibly under any circumstances sit here and tell me this game isn't quite possibly the best looking game you've ever seen in the entire you know history of gaming it beats out pretty much everything however I do believe the art style could you know, get some tweaking in terms of looking a little bit uh, more realistic. Because I gotta say, the B, it just doesn't look fuzzy enough. It just, it's not fuzzy enough. It, it looks like, it, it is just, it's too realistic for what I like. Well, it's not realistic enough, actually. And especially the B's mouth, it's just not as red and pulsating as the real B's actually are in real life. So I just wish they would fix that, those few issues in this video game. Uh, besides that, as you can see, the gameplay of B is very varied. You can actually, the control scheme is very innovative in the fact that you can basically uh, rotate the B in literally any manner you wish for, which means that such uh, operations as this are possible, where you can, you know, have the B sit there underground. The way it works is via a throttle mechanism similar to a flight simulator, which I guess in many ways is some form of artistic ex expression on how Bs are really just airplanes when you think about it. So you hold down W to like increase throttle, so that increases throttle, and the rest of your control, so S to obviously slow down, and the rest of your controls just simply aim the, aim the B. Uh, now we're seeing a little bit of a graphical, cool, a cool thing about the B's graphics is the fact that you can notice now that night is happening. So there we go. There's the night sky, as you can see. Um, that's the night texture they teased in the little beginning with the copyright section. A uh, fun thing about this game is just the amazing uh, amount of effort put into really creating these cool shots and graphics. Look, there's rain. So, I mean, just look at a shot like this. What does this mean emotionally? Look at the moon as it flies past at a very realistic pace. What, like, what does this mean emotionally? What does this, what does this represent? What is the, what is the creator of this video game trying to say with this, with this, with this masterpiece of gaming? It's a Look, there's a, there's a meteor over there, as you can see. That could be symbolic of, I don't know, the bees' inevitable fate. And the fact that the bees, despite the fact that they've been annihilated by a meteor, they'll still survive past. 
these blowing, you know, glowing blue eyes just look so radiant in the night. Look at that beautiful moon. You can fly towards the moon, but oh no, the moon's going away. And that could be symbolic of the fact that we have to deal with the fact that the protective night and the, the cloak of the darkness always will have to eventually go away. You can fly into the sky infinitely, which means that eventually we'll be able to reach pretty much any point in this game geometry. One little complaint I have is that, as you can see, the world ends right here. I wish there was really a more open B world, like a really, really big, expansive B open world. Like, that would be great if there was that. Like a Breath of the Wild, but for, you know, Bees of the Wild, that, that'd be great. i just love to see more maps made for this, because the map at the moment is just a little too small. But apart from that, this game is, you know, proven to be... All the glowing reviews are completely accurate. 10 out of 10. Just, it is just a masterpiece in all regards. I have literally never had a more emotional experience playing a video game. Yeah, uh, I'll have to replace my favorite video game from Breath of the Wild to B. Because it literally does not compare Breath of the Wild. I mean, look, does Breath of the Wild let you do this? Float in the air like a bee? Does it let you float in the air and point in any direction like this without even having to flap your wings a little bit, just magically hover? No. And I don't think so, unless you use glitches or something. So, yeah, I gotta say, my return to Denchi Gaming or whatever it was called, completely triumphant with the return to B. So, thanks for watching this B gameplay video. I hope you enjoyed. As I said, my favorite game now is this. I'll be playing this 24 hours on Steam. You'll find me playing this on Steam. And, um, goodbye.